Now 636, the number of police shootings, the dangers of policing, tackling fentanyl, a Department of Justice investigation, all issues the Phoenix Police Department is facing this morning. I recently sat down with Interim Chief Michael Sullivan for a candid conversation about all of them. Shots fired at a Phoenix bus station and an officer is the one who pulled the trigger. Phoenix police say the suspect was attacking that officer. In the scuffle, he loses control of his taser, the gun becoming his only option, police say. Do you think policing is getting more dangerous? I, policing has always been dangerous. Uh, you know, what we've seen at the start of this year, certainly uh, the, the pace and tempo and the number of firearms our, our officers are, are engaging uh, individuals with is, is a challenge. But members of the community worry it's getting more dangerous for them as well. I was out covering the officer involved shooting last Wednesday at McDowell and 27th Avenue and a number of people came up to me and our crew and said they're concerned. They don't want to see these officer involved shootings. They're worried. They don't want this in their communities. So what would your response be to that? Officers and the, the, the police department and myself don't want to see officers involved shootings as well. Uh, you know, we want to see successful resolutions. We don't want to see officers uh, have to be involved in these situations. We don't want community and families to have to endure this, and we don't want the community as a whole. One solution, according to interim Phoenix Police Chief Michael Sullivan, is to go after prohibited possessors. Those are people who have guns who aren't legally allowed to have them. He says it requires teamwork from his department, the county attorney's office, and officials with the ATF. And that's not the only issue the department is facing. In 2021, the Department of Justice announced it was launching an investigation into the Phoenix Police Department's use of force policies and whether police engage in discriminatory policing. All issues the ABC 15 investigators have looked into for years. The investigation was launched under former Chief of Police Jerry Williams. You inherited a department that's under an investigation from the Department of Justice. Have you been given a timetable of when you might see a report? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a good question for the Department of Justice because that's the same question I've been asking them. Uh, you know, I look forward to an update soon. I got an update right after I got here. Uh, that, that was the last time that I, I had a good conversation with the Department of Justice. We continued uh, to provide materials that they've asked for, uh, and we will continue to do that. And, and uh, I believe they're going to come out this spring again for, I believe, the second visit since I've been here. As the current chief of this department, how concerned are you about what that Department of Justice report might reveal? You know, I'm here for a reason. I'm here because of my experience working in this area. Uh, came from a department that was under a consent decree. Uh, we are going to work very, very hard, but I'm going to work hard to make, continue to make this the best department in the country. Uh, whether it's around use of force issues, whether it's around First Amendment issues, whether it's around uh, stop searches and arrests. Uh, all those items are very important. We're going to continue to push forward and lean into this. And what about Chief Sullivan's future? Right now, he is the interim chief. I asked him point blank, would you take the job if it were offered to you? He didn't give a yes or a no, but said it's up to the city manager as well as his wife and the rest of his family. To see more of my interview with the chief, click on the story on the main page right now of ABC15.com. And getting those questions answered for our community. It is 6.30.